drivers getting this message. It's too much noodles, not enough meat. Pass that information along. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to another Monkey Pie Labs cooking video. We have Mike here who's gonna make us something awesome today. We'll see, we'll see. So we're gonna make uh, panza today. It's a Filipino dish, uh, and I've never made this before, by the oh, way, so okay. really, who knows how it's gonna turn it's out. It's gonna be an adventure. I think it should be simple, who knows. Mm -hmm. We might have something inedible by the end of it. Protein choice, pork or chicken. Today we're going with mm -hmm. pork. We need cabbage, we need carrot, onion, garlic, mm -hmm. uh, one lemon, you. I left the green uh, bell peppers. I had some bell peppers, because uh, usually you'll see it with snow peas or bell pepper. Luckily, Yaz bailed us out. She has these small uh, peppers in her studio. And the last thing you'll need, of course, mm -hmm. is the noodles. So I didn't mm. even really know it's called bihon. I just knew it was like these thin vermicelli style noodles. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. we've got rice noodles mm -hmm. and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully we make something that goes good in the belly. All the ingredients are all good, so. <laughs> so it's down to the preparation. <laughs> oh, the stress, the pressure. <laughs> Ew, I hate you. <laughs> all right, so if okay. you could uh, just cut the tops off of that, I'm yep. gonna get started with the onions and get that into a pan. So we'll probably end up julienning the carrots and the uh, cabbage. Oh, okay. Got some oil in the pan. We have a little walk here. Can you get me like five cloves over mm -hmm. here? Teamwork makes the dream work. Ooh, that's what right. I'm here for. Cheerleader, that's what you were in high school, right? Oh yeah, I was definitely a cheerleader. I am so peppy and energetic. As evidenced by the monotone nature of that last statement. Exactly, I'm glad you get my humor. Oh yeah, all right. So onion takes uh, a little bit longer to sweeten up and uh, can withstand a little cooking. So we're gonna get that in the pan first, and then we will get the carrots in there, root vegetable, so it'll take a little time for that to cook as well. What I'm trying to do here is just balance textures. You know, I still want a little bit of crunch, right? Okay. But if we put everything in the same time, this would be wilted by the time this is cooked, oh, right? So you okay. wanna manage that. You know how to check if pan's hot enough, right? There's a little splash. Oh, sizzle, Ooh. good. So we'll get this on there. Can I borrow some of your salt? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, that was pretty bad. Oh. Good even slices, Mike. Don't fuck this up. Camera's rolling. People will know if it's uneven slices. Okay, so we're gonna just get roughly Julian these carrots. Organize it first, and you won't have this issue. Talking to myself is always fun. You're great at that. I know. My oldest sister always said, oh, smart people talk to themselves. Really? Yeah, because she talks to herself all the time. All right, so we've got the carrots. I'm gonna add that in. Carrots. All right. Hear that sizzle, Sarah? Since you're such a great helper so far, mm -hmm. right? Can you actually just cut little strips for me? Okay, you I can do that. You think you can? Yeah. Awesome. I can Take handle, your time. I can handle that. That's the last thing we need to do, so yeah. I um, also really like my little baby cutting board. Your baby cutting next board? Next to the big one. Oh, next to the big boy. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing and shred uh, this cabbage. I haven't worked with green cabbage in a while, but at the deli we used to make a ton of coleslaw, so oh. we should be able to. Yeah, why don't I do that? Pour the cabbage. I think I'm gonna be the one who cuts myself. How much noodles do we have? Maybe we'll just do the whole thing. Why not? So did you watch any uh, cooking people growing up at all? Or was it mostly watching your family? Um, watching my family, I guess. I don't know, my mom always had, um, what was that cook's name on? Emerald? Emerald Lagasse? Yeah. The bang? Or yeah, the bam, yeah, the bam. bam. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's so a I remember him. We ate his, at his restaurant one time in New Orleans. Ooh, how was how was that? And, that and was, how much did you pay? That started my calamari addiction at ten years old. Oh no, <laughs> I've never heard it. I'm, I don't think I had calamari until I was twenty. You privileged. <laughs> I have no idea what we paid, as I never saw the bill. <laughs> you mean they didn't make you get a job at age ten to pay your 
pay your weight. My parents were nice. You know what, we're just gonna go ahead and add this to this mixture. I was gonna put it with the meat, but mm -hmm. that's okay. We'll get enough oils from the garlic left over in the pan. I, I think we'll be good. Okay, whatever you say, chef. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will just I, agree yeah, with whatever you say. We should not say that, because I am not that. <laughs> Although when I ran, uh, when I had the deli, mm -hmm. uh, I did dress up in a chef's coat and make everyone call me chef. Oh, well, of course, <laughs> what else would you do? <laughs> Against their will, <laughs> you will call me chef. Well, I would have called no. you chef. Of course, because you're too, you're nice and you're kind and you're reasonable. Just an angel. I That's am at least an angel. What she you told us to say me. and threatened us with life and limb. Oh, okay, get that garlic going on. You know, my college roommates at one point forbade me from cutting anything with sharp knives. Why? Because I cut my finger open. Oh crap. Okay, you know what? Why don't I take over? I've got a cool job hey, for you now. I'm good now. Look, look at look at all this I've done. <laughs> Hi, Yaz. Hi. Thank you for the uh, peppers, by the way. You're welcome. Aren't they beautiful? Look at my beautiful peppers. I was actually thanking Yaz off camera for giving me the peppers, but you swooped right in and it fits so seamlessly. <laughs> I was like, should I let it go? <laughs> it's just rocket. Right. Yaz might have bought them, but I cut some of them. You did, you did. <laughs> Uh, here's what we can do next. This is an awesome job. Can you zest this whole lime? We might not use okay. all of it, but we're gonna need the juice for later, so we want to zest. How do you zest the lime? Oh yeah, no, no, no worries. So just take, just take the uh, this edge, the curvy part, mm -hmm. right? And you don't want to go too deep because you don't want to get like the white, the white part, the bitter part. Oh, okay. So kind of with a light touch, just go around the whole thing and. So kind of like peeling, but not peeling. Yeah, exactly. And okay. you can also use like, if you have a microplane or mm -hmm. if you have one of these like things, you could use that, but I like this better. Okay. Whatever that fucking tool is, comment down below. What is that fucking tool? It looks like mini brass knuckles. Pounce it. It's have you ever had idea. any, you're, you know uh, Chinese food, right? I don't know Phil I don't know Filipino. You know Chinese though, right? Do you know my fun? That sounds familiar. It's like a thin right, uh, vermicelli type noodle. It's yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. It's similar. All right, so we have our bell peppers cut up. Let's take a look at how this is going. It's a little high. What we got was good caramelization. Things did not burn. Woo. It's good caramelization. Is what I'm telling myself right now. All right, going to add this. It's a cabbage, let that wilt down a little bit. And then we'll get a little salt to draw out the moisture. Oh, fuck me. That's not good. Making a mess out of your kitchen, yes. I can feel your eyes burning into the back of my head for messing up your kitchen. No, you are wrong. I'm the most forgiving person you can imagine. <laughs> How are we doing with the zest? Looking good? I think good. Yeah, it's a lot of cabbage. Maybe one overboard on the cabbage, huh, Mike? So we'll cook this off really quick. We, like I said, we still want the crunch. If Mike was good at cutting it all, he wouldn't have this core piece just dangling in the wind. That's the crunch? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's cooked too much now, so we'll take it off the heat. Okay, so now that I've got sort of like the, uh, the vegetables cooked the way I like them, we're going to clear this. This is a one pot, one pot wonder too. Ooh, nice and Well, easy. one pot and like a tray, but whatever, who's counting? One pot and a tray and like a cutting board, but that's it, maybe a knife too. I think, I think so. you're the one counting. So we have this meat, I had it sitting on this um, paper towel over here, uh -huh. just because I'll get a little bit more uh, color and more fond. The, sort of drier it is. Oh. Um, in fact, to help aid in that process, we will give it a little bit of salt. We're gonna get a lot of salt from the soy sauce, so mm -hmm. which is 
Another main ingredient, if I didn't tell you at the top of the show, I didn't, huh? I don't think you Soy did. Soy sauce needed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, just let, let this sit and let it do its thing in color. It's a stainless steel wok. You know, don't get tripped out that everything's sticking. When it's ready to release, it'll release from the pan. Okay. Um, so we'll wait for that to get some color. And we're pretty much coasting right now. Ooh, nice. We're coasting. Not a lot to do left. Hold your horses. We're getting food. We're so getting food. This, this isn't that... This isn't that hard to cook, it seems like. This is, should be a simple dish, and that's mm -hmm. part of the reason why it's so prevalent. It's like rice, you know, you have a big pot of it, so you take your plate, get some rice. Filipino people out there are kind of nasty, though. Eat with your hands and shit. I'm just kidding, you guys are civilized. You discovered the spoon and fork, like, <laughs> years ago. So. <laughs> I'm Filipino, don't kill me! Shit. <laughs> Check my audio, because I'm doing dual jobs. Audio guy gets paid, like, at least 80 an hour. Do I get that today? No. Director? No? No. That's what happens when you're the only competent one. Oh, she called me competent. <laughs> Once I get enough color and a sufficient amount of fawn, it's that like caramelized dark bits at the bottom of the pan. Once okay. we get enough of that, we'll deglaze it with the a soy sauce, add mm -hmm. some water, and then we'll go with some Szechuan peppercorns. Here's something you can do. Yeah. Can you take the Szechuan peppercorns and give it like a light crack. Okay, I can do that. Perfect. I like smashing things. I do have a question. Yeah. What is fawn? The dark bits at the bottom of the pan. Okay. I don't know what it means. I think these are all French terms because they apparently invented food. Okay, you see, Sarah? Yeah. Do you see this, this brown bits right here? Uh-huh. That's fawn. Oh, okay. I didn't know that had a name. Yeah, so like if you want to make sauces, quick sauces, pan sauces, or gravies, mm -hmm. you, like you want fawn. Okay. So that's good color. I'm happy with that. Now what we're going to do is deglaze the pan with maybe four to maybe six tablespoons. It's better to do a little bit less than more and just add, but who knows? It felt right. It felt right. Okay, so now scrape the fond out using the soy sauce. And let me get this off the heat a little bit. I'm going to add water now. They kind of look like spider webs. There's still some water, some broth, you see? So that needs to be absorbed some more because we're putting veg in there too, which mm -hmm. has only been lightly salted. So mm -hmm. it's gonna bring the salt level down. We're pretty much done. You don't have to put everything in there, but Sarah, can yep. you? Oops. Let's fill up the plate. Okay. So it took the noodles about like 30 minutes to absorb uh, most of that broth. It think, smells good. Oh, well hopefully it tastes good. Uh, we had to adjust. I added uh, more soy sauce along the way, and that's just something you should do. You should taste along the way. Uh, so I added mm -hmm. some sea salt, some soy sauce, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more zest. And to finish it off, you normally we'd like maybe do um, like wedges on the side. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll make we'll make little wedges. Fancy. But, but you should have fresh scores of lemon. How does that look? Are we okay with that? Pancit, Filipino, pork style. That's pretty much it. Hopefully it was kind of easy. It was Sorry. beautiful, Sorry. cheesy. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Turn off the light. Go ahead. Here, you know what I'll do? Why don't I take over the camera? Let's get your reactions. Oh, oh yeah, camera, camera take over. Oh, Go ahead and eat. add lemon juice to okay. your liking. More pork, right, Yaz? More meat. I like that. Oh, I found some. I like that it has more veggie. I don't know how to end this, so we're just gonna say, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, take it easy. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>